Hello again folks, it's been a while. My last video was published way back on the 18th of July and I've had lots of messages wondering what the heck's happened to me. Well as you can see I'm still alive and kicking so I thought I'd go for a quick stroll along my favourite beach where my local river meets the sea, shoot some video and let you know what's been happening. The fishing season is now closed so there's no actual fishing in this video, but that said you might want to stick around for 10 minutes or so and listen to my excuses. The past season was frankly a bit of a disaster for several reasons. It started out slowly and quickly fizzled out altogether. The spring weather here in the east of Scotland was really terrible. Cold, no sun and constant east winds did not make for welcoming conditions, although it has to be admitted that those who actually made the effort to get out there did catch some fish, but not me. By the time the weather warmed up in June the river had dropped to a very low level. The better fish had dropped downstream as they always do and the fishing was pretty poor. There has been another huge change on the local river over the past few years and this year in particular it's got out of hand. The spread and growth of the Ranunculus streamer weed has to be seen to be believed. Huge areas are now unfishable, favourite spots choked and lost. I've been monitoring the spread and growth over the summer months and I would not have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Now I do know that some streamer weed is a good thing for harbouring invertebrates, oxygenating the water and other good stuff. This rate of spread however is strange and by all accounts it's not only the local river where this is happening. This plant seems to spread by both seed and fronds breaking off and rooting further downstream. Cutting the weed might just make it worse, who knows. Then there's age. Unfortunately I'm not as young as I used to be and I've also had a few health issues to contend with. But that's just one of life's inevitabilities. It gets us all sooner or later. You either deal with it or you don't. Anyway, these things just added up to me not doing a lot of fishing in 2023. The bottom line of course is they're all just excuses. The overriding reason for my lack of fishing action was laziness. Plain and simple, I'd lost my fishing mojo. I actually did do quite a lot of filming. I shot lots of B-roll footage and I'll be able to use that in future productions and not only on the local river. So it wasn't an entire season of inaction. I've no doubt that by March 2024 I'll be champing at the bit once again rarely to go. Dreaming about casting a dry fly to a rising trout. We shall see. I might post a few videos over the winter but it's unlikely there will be much of any fishing in them. I'll make that clear in the description of each video so you can choose to watch or not. Although this was not set up as a fishing only channel, I do realise the vast majority of you subscribe for fishing content and I thank you for it. Lastly, I apologise for any ads that might appear in this short video. I did set ads to appear because if I didn't, YouTube would stick them on anyway and possibly even more of them. At least this way I can have them appear only at the beginning and the end. So, I'll close there folks. I hope you enjoyed our wee stroll along the beach and you were not too bored with my usual waffle. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Bye for now.